Hi, and welcome to another episode of Rotating Cup Expert. So this one's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna talk a little bit about my journey and our journey together, because actually the reality is the journey that we have, that I have is the same journey um, that you have. And without you, there would be no journey for me. This again, this will be a little different. So if you're really interested in the nuts and bolts of shoulder surgery, shoulder recovery, um, just fast forward to this. This is probably not the video for you. Don't worry, we'll be having plenty of other content that'll be coming up. Uh, so if you're not really interested in this kind of thought process of where I'm at and why I'm doing this, then certainly um, just fast forward and we'll get you another video soon. If there's anybody else left, and hopefully there are a few people left, um, the question is like, how did I get here? Um, why am I doing what I'm doing? I'm sure there's tons of reasons and probably reasons I don't even know about. I don't truly comprehend uh, there in my subconscious. But in general, the idea in, in thinking through this, in this video, and then actually this video is probably the hardest video I've actually had to make so far, is that when I grew up and I was in a, grew up a small town, um, and I was in the doctor's office for a month, I was sick, I had some um, tonsils and strep throat and stuff and I had a problem with my ear and I broke my leg and so what I remember and I remember for me and I remember for my parents that there was lots of things that the doctor said that I didn't have any idea what they're talking about uh, and my parents didn't really know what they're talking about my parents were not doctors they're not in healthcare at all my mom was a teacher's aide my dad was a mechanic and so when I realized I was going to go down the course of being a doctor, and I'm sure part of the reason why I'm being a doctor is because of all the experience that I had as a, as a child. One of my passions was I really wanted to be able to explain things to my patients. I really wanted the patients to be able to see and understand what's going on so they can make the right decisions. Because lots of times the decisions that we, that we make uh, in medicine and patients make, there's not really a right decision. There's a right decision for the patient, but there's not really a uh, necessarily a right decision, uh, absolute right decision. I wanted to make sure that my patient understood what the options were and then help them to make that decision. So my goal, even in med school and actually getting into med school and, and med, then med school and then residency and then fellowship, um, yes, I wanted to be a good doctor. I wanted, I wanted to, to be able to perform well and I'm a surgeon so I wanted to be technically uh, um, accomplished but I also wanted to make sure that when I sat down with people with families especially with you know kids and talking with moms and dads about what's wrong with little Johnny what's going on what's happened what we should do um, that they would feel comfortable they would feel oh okay I understand and so although you know that's kind of part of what we're supposed to do is doctors as we learn, uh, um, not everybody comes at, at it at the same um, perspective. Lots of people come at it as I wanna technically know what to do. I wanna know the medicines. I wanna know kind of the protocol, da, 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 this is what we're supposed to do. And then just tell the patient, this is what we're gonna do. And I came from a slightly, well, maybe more than slightly, a different space where um, there are lots of options and there's maybe not the right thing to do. And maybe in orthopedics, there's probably there's less right than there's more decisions, but I really wanted people to understand what's going on and then help them understand, help them decide what to do next. And that's great. And for me, that's great. And I'm busy. I'm still a full-time practicing orthopedic surgeon. So I see lots of patients. I see 40 to 50 patients a day. And I have a, an extender uh, who's a PA who sees 20 to 30 patients a day. So we see lots of patients. We see that, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we see patients, and then Tuesday, Thursdays, um, we do surgeries. And if, if you really care about what the surgeon's life is, say I care in the in, in the in the in the comments, and we we'll, we can do an episode about what what life is really like for us. If you don't care, then don't put it, and we won't put anything about that. But some people care, so if you do, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. The kind of the concept of where rotator cuff expert. And, uh, my shoulder protector came from is the fact of how can I explain things to other people? And then ultimately after we explain things, how to help them have the most successful outcome as possible, right? This is how it started. And this is where it started from. This is the ideas. Uh, and then when you begin to get idea, go, okay, well, how can I help more? I can do videos and I can explain things, but are, are there other things that I can do to help people get from here to there, help people have peace and knowing that they're doing everything they can, and they know as much as they, they as much as they can, and they have the resources to get from here to there uh, as as safely and as 
confidently as possible. I grew up in, in a really small town in the middle of New York, in the center of New York, which if you know anything about New York, we call it central New York, oddly enough. So I grew up in a small town called Bridgewater. Uh, so if someone can tell me the two roads, the two highways that come together to form crossroads in, in Bridgewater, New York. So if you can do that, I'll give you a prize. We'll figure out what that is later. Um, so anyway, this is the first episode of this, we'll call it something I don't know, the first episode of who I am, why I'm here, what the purpose is, what the journey is, maybe my journey. Uh, again, and if people don't really care, they can always skip over and I'll talk about PRP in the next episode. But if you do care, um, we'll do another one. So if you care, if you like, please say that. And if you don't, you can say that too, and then I'll know to stop doing these. There's lots more about kind of where we're going and where we're coming from in the ne next episode, if you wanna know. Thanks, talk to you soon.